building's gone, that we offer this thing up, that this is going to fit snugly against the uh, short stretcher at the top, and that that will match the tail pole. If we need to maybe sand it a little bit one way or the other, we'll have to do that, but uh, I'm hoping my calculations are correct. Braces connect the tail pole either at the very bottom or halfway up to the long stretcher in the first instance and the short stretcher at the back in the second in instance and they are used for winding the cap, turning the cap into the wind. Pilot John is in charge of all the knot making and he's watched by Jamie the foreman always. There was a tendency as we lifted the brace for the top end to get stuck in the scaffolding. So we had to first pull by hand at the tail end, but that wasn't strong enough, and eventually we had to rig a chain block to a tree to pull it away as we lifted the top end. What we've got to do is get it a little bit higher so that Andy can work on the end to shape it so that it fits over the long stretcher. Calculated the angle here uh, with a nylon line actually on the other side uh, from about this height uh, up to the end of that stretcher. Uh, and so it should be right. It depends how high we have this and how far out the, the race is on the long stretch of it. Okay, this is according to George Ellis' uh, practical uh, carpentry book. Uh, with a wooden strip, it's called an American square, and with a metal strip, it's called a British one, or a, an Ellis uh, square. What I did was to pull a nylon line from this screw up to the end of the stretcher there. And I couldn't measure the angle between the line and here because that would give me a false angle. What I needed to do was to get the true angle of the beam if it was in line with the tail beam and then letting it lowering it against the stretcher there. So I had to fix this to the tail beam and then measure from the line to the front and of course the line crossed over here and from the line here to the square until I had the right angle or I hope we've got the right angle and it certainly looks like it from uh, this Y and which side I think Imagine we're going to have to put this this level yeah is um, that what you want and then and then cut the tail off okay, okay. yeah look at right. this is level there's a tiny little bit all to uh, right now I'll hold it if we can tie it tight down there um, what, got are it. We, what are we going to do um, what's the next thing to do um, put the bolt through. Yes, okay. Um, okay. Let's just, just pull it up again. Just uh, let me get the stuff. Then.
After cutting off the excess and priming it, we fitted the klapmuts, which is named after a cloth cap uh, that the Dutch people used to wear. Check around for any loose tools left behind. All clear. And then hope for supper. Yeah, supper time.